glad you could join us today on Earth Power. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. Billions of birds migrate. The question is, where do they go? Migratory birds have made their thousand mile flight for centuries, but we are just beginning to map their mesmerizing journeys. Today, at FAO, we focus on the reasons for this exercise and the tax before us to save the birds. Do stay with us. Enthusiastic birders and ornithologists across the country are fanning out to wetlands to take stock of the bird population. The main purpose of the water bird census was to ascertain the population of water birds. During the last water bird count conducted, an estimated 166,469 water birds across 212 species were counted, of both resident and migratory birds. At the moment, birders are working to give verve to Nigeria's important bird and biodiversity areas. Several, several birds actually. Dr. Shola Iwajomo is one of them and he lectures at the University of Lagos in Akoka. Now, one of the things with migratory birds is that they are born with an innate capacity to migrate. Now, within that uh, migratory program that they, they're born with, it's also a directional sense. So they have something like a map within their brain that tells them that at a certain time of the year, you're supposed to fly south or southwest and end up somewhere in Africa. Now for first year birds, one would, in some species of birds, the first year birds would follow the adults, so they learn along the way. But some other birds, the adults will depart the breeding grounds before even the, the first year birds are fully fledged from the nest. So the first year birds are left to fly on their own. And studies have shown that the first year birds also end up the same place where the adults have gone to. So it proves that there is some sort of inherited um, migratory program. So there is a migratory program that controls this uh, behavior. Birds undertake remarkable journeys navigating across land and sea to find refuge as the seasons change from endurance flights exceeding 10,000 kilometers by bar-tailed godwits to the annual relay of Arctic terns, which fly the equivalent of the distance to the moon and back three times during their lives. Other examples include the sooty shearwater, which flies 64,000 kilometers from the Falkland Islands to the Arctic, and the tiny black pole wobbler, which flies for three days non-stop across the open ocean from eastern Canada to South America. So there's a joint collaboration along what we call the East Atlantic Flyway, where you have countries from the Arctic towards Europe and then Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, all the way to South Africa. Um, there's a, a collaborated effort in counting uh, water birds as they migrate. This is to monitor their population because birds, they breed in the Arctic and in Europe, in the temperate region, and then they spend their winter in the subtropical Africa. Uh, so because of that, as I'm in sub-Saharan Africa, so because of that, there's a need to monitor their population. There's a, it has been noticed worldwide that the population is declining. And because of that declining population, there was a need to monitor them. And then, it, it's a, as I said, it's a, it's a collaborative effort so that we don't just monitor the breeding sites and then monitor the, um, their wintering sites differently. So we monitor all the sites at the same time so that we'll be able to have the, uh, at least an, ex an, an estimate, a rough estimate of the numbers that we can actually rely on. So that is what is happening. So every year, between January and February, organized by uh, Wetlands International, um, birds are monitored along the East Atlantic Flyway. That is all, all the countries along the coast, on the eastern part of the Atlantic Ocean, monitor birds as they fly from uh, they are wintering on their wintering ground to their breeding ground every year. A 2015 study on migratory birds called for a greater international collaborative effort to save the world's migratory birds, many of which are at risk of extinction due to loss of habitat along their flight paths. More than 90% of the world's migratory birds are inadequately protected due to poorly coordinated conservation around the world. The research 
which included using BirdLife International's data on migratory bird distributions and important bird and biodiversity areas, found huge gaps in the conservation of migratory birds, particularly across China, India and parts of Africa and South America. This results in the majority of migratory birds having ranges that are well covered by protected areas in one country, but poorly protected in another. More than half of migratory bird species traveling the world's main flyways have suffered serious population declines in the past 30 years. This is due mainly to unequal and ineffective protection across their migratory range and the places they stop to refuel along the routes. A typical migratory bird relies on many different geographic locations throughout its annual cycle for food, rest and breeding. So even if we protect most of their breeding grounds, it is still not enough. Threats somewhere else can affect the entire population. Migratory birds use, they need fuel for this journey. So they store up fat, which is basically uh, gotten from eating a lot. So by eating a lot, they store up excess fat. And that fat is converted into mechanical energy as they fly. So it's a case of getting fuel ready, available, and then flying across. Now, the journey itself is quite tasking because you have two major barriers. For birds that come all the way from Europe into Africa, you have two major barriers to cross. You have to cross first the Mediterranean Sea, and then when you get onto Africa, you have to also cross the Sahara. So that's for the land birds. Some other birds will fly along the coast. So they take along the coast like uh, most water birds would do. They fly along the coast of Africa down all the way to South Africa. So it's, it's a case of different strategies for different species. But the underlying mechanism is quite the same, that you have a migratory program that controls migration and also you have adaptation to store fat, which is required for the journey.